What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here on this uh, beautiful Thursday night. A little late update here. It's about 9, you know, 9.24 p.m. West Coast time here. Thursday night. Uh, latest earthquake shows a 1.9 earthquake on the big island of Hawaii. Little activity going on here around the earthquake 3D globe today, including some deeper new movement here in the Fiji Islands area right here. These uh, rings raised off the globe pretty uh, deeply or significantly, indicating deep earthquake movement. Also some uh, swarming going on around the Middle America Trench there. It looks like uh, off the coast of, uh, well, let's go ahead and check it out and see where it's at specifically. Looking at the latest USGS map here, showing some activity down here. A little cluster of earthquakes also off the coast of Costa Rica, uh, Nicaragua, and also the uh, El Salvador area. Seen a, a pretty good handful of earthquakes. Now this is just a 4.0 and above. There is some threes kicking up here in a swarm type fashion. Uh, all this activity occurring following uh, yesterday's double six pointers there in the South America region. As far as activity ramping up down there, there's only been a handful of earthquakes today in the South America area uh, from a 4.3 to 4.6 up and down the Peru Chile Trench. Most of it uh, at moderate depths there for the earthquakes, but uh, definitely got to watch this area up north here. We, we tend to sometimes see a northward fashion of earthquake movement uh, following deep earthquakes, so I'll watch that pretty closely. Uh, movement kicking up here into the Texas area. Earthquake country out there in western Texas around Pecos, Texas. Who would have thought? Well, a lot of earthquakes go on out there in the uh, gas and uh, oil rigs and whatnot. Uh, latest earthquake shows a 3.1 earlier today. Uh, earlier, yeah, just a little short time ago. Uh, latest quake there. As far as anything in Oklahoma goes, we're looking at uh, some scattered earthquake activity throughout the uh, wells there. Nothing going on throughout the eastern portion of the country. Uh, Intermountain West regions and Nevada all showing uh, just a few microquakes out there. This is not a whole lot of activity throughout the western coast right now. Things kind of uh, tapered off a little bit uh, following all that, uh, uh, well, that uh, seven-pointer that struck a couple days ago uh, in the Philippines there. So we haven't really seen a whole lot of uptick in earthquake movement since then along the west coast. One earthquake down here along the San Jacinto Fault Zone, the Anza section, the Clark Fault. But overall, just a typical day of plate tectonics there in California, up in the northern part of the Pacific Plate, the North American Plate boundary here, some activity throughout Alaska. And then again, that's very typical. Not a whole lot of swarming going on, just some uh, very typical movement in Alaska. Uh, Pahala, Big Island, looking uh, pretty active tonight. A couple earthquakes there within the last hour. And uh, one earthquake out here around the Lohi Seamount earlier uh, during the day today. But uh, things just kind of calming down there as well. Uh, we are seeing a little bit of cluster of quakes out here in the uh, just south of the Japan Trench. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that tonight here, this little trench area. It's north of the Mariana Trench. I'll let you guys... Uh, uh, attempt that. Uh, quite a few fours and even a 5.1 kicking off here in this area. It is pretty shallow. It's back behind the uh, subduction zone itself here. So on the Pacific side of the plate boundary, not quite into the Philippine plate there. So uh, things kind of building up there. It's a lot of strain in that region. Also over here around the Philippines, of course, aftershock activity could continue for quite some time. We got one within the vicinity there, 4.5 kicking up earlier today. Papua New Guinea, Fiji Islands area, not a whole lot going on. Of course, we did see a double quake on the Earthquake 3D globe, showing a couple fours within this region, but I believe that's just a double uh, notification there from the USGS and EMSC model, both combined, showing a couple fours, when in fact there's only a 4.4 uh, striking earlier today. Uh, early evening time frame at uh, 567 kilometers, pretty deep earthquake movement. Uh, not a whole lot going on westward, folks, as we uh, tour the map here. Just a couple hot spots kicking up here. Middle America Trench, south, and uh, over here around Japan. Things kind of looking pretty active in uh, that region. What else we got here for Yellowstone National Park? Things kind of been uh, 
on the stable side not a whole lot of earthquake activity going on here at the uh, super volcano earthquakes canada map we'll go ahead and check out the folks here to the north see what's uh cooking up there so to speak got some activity it looks like outside of the uh skagaway alaska area 2.8 at 10 kilometers the latest quake here on the map uh, not a whole lot of renewed activity here along the western coast of the bc region and if you look across the country here not a whole lot there in the red circles uh, most of this activity throughout the uh, bays up here and the sea all from last week or so tremor map tonight along the cascadia subduction zone shows only 27 epicenters here within the uh, southern end of the cascadia not that big of a deal folks just a little trimmer ongoing there uh let's see what else we got i know solar weather is not very active we'll check that out check that out here in just a second uh the fire weather map I'm, or at least the fires here in california i'm gonna try and cover these on the updates a lot of people asking about them uh the oak fire that one's uh the one that kind of exploded here a couple days ago in the yosemite region down in southern california uh, it sits at about 19,000 acres burned uh, it's only at 42 percent containment so that's still not good uh, making some headway but we have seen a loss of 90 residences uh, 676 structures remain threatened uh, still working to eliminate some hot spots uh, so they're they're working on it folks definitely working on it hopefully they get that under control the uh, washburn fire here looks like the containment is rising up on that about 87 percent contained there which is good news i'm really surprised uh, some of that uh, monsoonal moisture didn't spark off some new fires here kind of kind of a little odd don't you think a uh, little earthquake activity down south here just 180 acres the kasner fire uh, looks like this is around the ramona california area about 70 percent contained uh, nothing going on here in northern california luckily man uh, there is one earthquake out off of uh, interstate 80 near the colfax region nine acres looks like 25 percent contained that's not a good area uh to have a fire it's heavily forested regions uh a lot of beautiful scenery up there we do not want any big fires up there as far as anything northward goes in northern california all in the clear right now uh, of course a lot of areas burned out here over the past few years so not for sure if there's anything left to burn so hopefully those fires will stay uh, away from this area uh let's see let's go ahead and do a recap of solar weather there's not a whole lot going on here folks i'd be surprised if anything's going on uh still looking at a maybe g3 to g4 or not g3 to g4 but uh kp index of three to four uh, with a g0 class storm coming up on july 30th uh, which could indicate some elevated conditions there for the uh, geomagnetic storm watch at the higher latitudes but uh, that's maybe that's maybe a big maybe uh, no major solar flares to report no major sunspots in the making and uh, things just kind of uh, at the calm level there's a couple coronal holes down south and a couple up to the north not expecting any type of uh, issues from that and uh, just the the b word here kind of sits uh, uh pretty hot on my tongue right now the boring world boring word <clears throat> excuse me is what I kind of classify the solar weather right now. Just not good. I'm not a big fan of boring weather. And that includes, uh, uh, well, storms and stuff like that. I'm, I'm a storm chaser, so I enjoy the active patterns. When it's boring, it's boring. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe. We will chat you guys a little bit later on. Take care, folks. I'm out of here.